Now we're going to take a look at the selection sort and how it works. Here we have an array of unsorted data. The selection sort says to start at index 0 and find the lowest value in the array. And we'll assume that 23 is the lowest and compare it to all the rest. And you'll see right away it changes from 23 to 10 as the lowest and continues. So the, theory, the algorithm is that once you find the lowest and have gone through the entire array looking for that lowest, place it at index 0 and then move to the next one so in this case we see that the lowest value is at index 5 so the 23 would move to index 5 and the 1 would move down to index 0 and not touching the rest of the data in the array not doing any other swaps so if you remember the bubble sort, if you were doing that one, these two would have been swapped, and those two would have been swapped, and so forth. So it would have done a lot more moving data around. So right now we moved, did one swap, and already one value is in its final spot, the number one. It now will ignore what's in element zero, because that's in its final spot, spot, and start checking from index one through six, assuming again now that index 1 is the lowest and comparing it with the rest of them to find the lowest. In this case it finds the 4 to be the lowest so it ends up swapping the 4 and the 10 not touching the rest of the array. So now it's ignoring indexes 1 and uh, 0 and 1 and starting at index 2 looking for the lowest which we see is at index 4 and that's what it will determine and it will swap the 10 and the 7 in this case not touching the first two not even looking at them and not touching anything else in the array. So now we have three things in their final locations and we're going to start at index 3 through 6 looking for the lowest within there. In this case it would be the 10 and it will move the 10 that's at index 4 to the index 3 and the 15 to the index 4. Those two will get swapped and you see we're gradually getting this whole array sorted. So right now we can ignore 0, 1, 2, and 3 indexes because those are in their final spots. It's going to look in now from 4, 5, and 6 for the lowest value and place that lowest value at index 4. In this case that's the 15 so it's already in its spot so nothing will swap. So now it knows it needs, it needs to do one more pass all based on the size of the array. There's seven elements so it needs to do six passes. It will not touch 0 through 4 because those are in its final locations. It starts at index 5 and looks for the lowest between 5 and 6, which is the 18. And it does that final swap and our array is fully sorted. That's the selection sort.